Hey friends, I hope everybody had an amazing weekend and happy Monday. I only have one real announcement today, so nothing too crazy. Um, this Wednesday and Thursday, we're having our uh, third, fourth, and fifth grade Zoom classes with Encore. So I know Miss Godfrey, Miss Dykehouse, Mr. Tillman, Miss Finnegan, Miss Stewart, Mr. H, Mr. Rowe, myself, Mr. Horner, everybody, we're all super excited to see you. So make sure you check Class Dojo and Google Classroom for just the reminders on what times they are. Um, we'll post those in a few or in a couple hours or probably tomorrow. Um, oh, how could I forget one more major announcement? Happy birthday to anybody that had a birthday this past weekend. I hope it was as amazing as you are. I hope you got to go outside and do some of the outdoor activities that I posted on Class Dojo and Google Classroom. If you didn't, uh, message me and I'll definitely get those to you. But happy birthday and I, I know it was amazing because you are too and I miss you guys so, so, so much. So let's jump right into today's activity. Um, it's actually going to be bowling which is one of mr h's favorite activities mr h and i and a couple of, of your other teachers have actually gone bowling so i know you guys love it i do know that we didn't quite get to do our cosmic bowling where we turn off the lights and we have a bunch of crazy glow sticks and lights um but next time we see each other in person we will definitely make sure that that's a top priority because i know everybody loved that i know i loved it i love dancing and i love singing and i love bowling so that's definitely something we're gonna do okay so for this activity you're actually gonna need several things i said normally that we don't need a whole lot of those activities but we are gonna need those things or a couple of things because we have to make sure that we have something that replaces actual bowling pins right and then we actually need something that's going to replace an actual bowling ball because not very many people have bowling pins and bowling balls at their house right so for the bowling pins right i am actually going to be using these plastic little uh bottles um this is a lipton zero sugar iced tea peach and it tastes delicious but if you don't have something like this at your house you can absolutely use a water bottle or um or a plastic cup just like this and you can put those on the ground um, just whatever you use you're gonna make sure that it's not breakable so plastic is okay hard plastic is okay um, if you wanted to actually I've got a snack that I took out of my cabinet um, you can actually put these on the ground and knock it knocks over pretty quick and it's not going to ruin anything so you definitely don't want to use glass or anything that can break pretty easily right so in the video i'm actually gonna have six of these right i know i drank a lot of them um you don't need six if you only have one bottle or only one item you can knock down perfect use that one item but for the video or for this activity i'm actually going to use six can you use more mr wood mm, yes you can use more absolutely and that's perfectly fine right so like i said i'm going to use these bottles i'm actually going to use six of them and we're going to talk about how to set them up in a little bit um but you can absolutely use one you can use two three four five six seven eight nine ten when we're actually bowling at a bowling alley when we get to go back and do that um they have 10 bowling pins per time so we'll check out that in a little bit but for right now we're going to use six okay um my next thing we got to use a bowling ball if you are awesome or you're lucky enough to have a ball of some sort in your house i actually have stella my little puppy her ball um this is just a tennis ball but we have to be adaptable right miss godfrey so using a tennis ball in this situation is perfectly okay you're gonna want to use something that can roll um, if you have, if you remember my basketball video where we had to tie up or roll up a shirt and then tie it, you can do that. That's perfectly acceptable. Um, or my personal favorite, toilet paper, right? Now, so when we do this, it can actually roll. So really, whatever you decide to use for the equipment today, you need to make sure that it's not breakable for the bowling pins and it can roll for whatever you're going to use for the bowling ball. Okay, so what is it even going to look like, Mr. Wood? Are we really going to be bowling in our house? Absolutely. So I'm going to explain it. This is actually just kind of a picture or a diagram of what it looks like, but I'm going to talk you through it as we're going to start bowling here in a few minutes. Okay, now 
The first thing you'll need to do is set up a space for your bowling pins. Now, you can set up your bowling pins like I do, which is one in the front, two in the middle, and three in the back, right? Or feel free to get creative and you can set it up however you want. If you wanna stack some bowling pins on top of each other, what? Do it. If you wanna stack them side by side so they go crazy, do it, right? But you can do whatever you want, but this, I'm showing you this way to make sure that you know that when you get to go to a bowling alley soon, after all this quarantine stuff is done, then guess what? That's how they're practicing at the bowling alley and I want you to get good at it too, okay? So I've got one in the front, two in the middle, three in the back, and I've got my starting space. Now, my starting line is actually the line that I'm not going to cross because in bowling, you're not really allowed to get all the way up close to the bowling pins and then knock them over, right? You have to take two to three steps and we're gonna see two to three steps in here and that might be modified for you but you're gonna take two to three steps away from the starting line. And if you don't have two to three steps and that's, it's just not a whole lot of space where you're at, that's okay. You can modify that and take one, space, or one step or no steps. We're still gonna be underhand rolling in this, okay? So I've got all my stuff set up. I'm gonna move my camera so you guys can be bowling with me and then we'll get started. Cool, see you in a second. Okay friends, so check it out. Here are my bowling pins. I've got one in the front, two in the middle, and then three in the back. And I've got my bowling ball that I'm gonna be using. Now, remember, I'm gonna take five to six steps away, and I'm actually gonna use just a regular shoe as my starting line, okay? So I don't ever wanna cross this line or shoe. Whew, smells pretty bad. So let's get started. So I'm gonna take one, two, three, four, five steps. And wherever I landed, I'm going to put my shoe down. Now I'm gonna take a couple steps back, nothing too crazy, but I'm going to take one step, two steps, and I'm going to roll my bowling ball at my bowling pins and see how many I can knock down, ready? So, one, two, roll. Oh man, I've got, so I knocked down one, two, three, and four. So my score for this round or this frame is actually just going to be four. Now, every time, so in bowling, there's actually 10 frames. Yes, yeah, so we're actually gonna get 10 rolls now and your job is going to be adding up. Now, I'm gonna keep track of my score up here. So I've got four and I'll add it up at the end. Cool with that? So. Oh, almost completely forgot. Every time you roll, make sure that you reset your bowling pins, right? So you always wanna have one up in the front, always wanna have two in the middle, and then three at the end, okay? So I've got my bowling ball. Let me set up my bowling pins back up. So I've got one in front, two in the middle, three in the back. Awesome, I'm gonna go back to my starting line. Remember, when you're rolling, you want to make sure that you are always stepping with the opposite foot, the foot hand that's not the, doesn't have the ball, step with the opposite foot, underhand, so you're going to go back to 4 o'clock, step to 8 o'clock, and follow through, okay? So, I'm going to take my two steps, 1, 2, 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and roll, and I knocked them all down, so I got Six points that time. You ready for this? So let's reset. One in the front, two in the back, three in the, oh, three in the back, two in the middle, made a mistake, and we'll go again. So that's round number two. Here we go. One, two, roll. Oh, yeah, six again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should be bowling. Remember, you have one in the front, two in the middle, three in the back. That was round number three. And we're going to go one step, two steps, roll. Oh, I missed one. That's okay. I still had one up in the air. So we're going to go one in the front two in the middle, so I got five that time. It's pretty good. And here, and I'll do one more just so we make sure we all have it together, okay? So, last one, 
getting real nervous. Got to do my awesome dance, awesome dance, awesome dance. Whoop, 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 whoop. Here we go. And one step, two steps, roll. Oh, and I left one, so I got five more points. Remember, friends, you're going to want to do 10 frames. If you miss, that's perfectly okay. Just keep trying. This game can get really, really tough, and that's okay because we don't quit because we are John Adams Eager Eagles. Let's go. So show me what you got. Make sure you bowl 10 frames or 10 rolls. Reset every single time, and I can't wait to tell me for, to hear about your scores. Cool? See you in a little bit. See you in a, your Zoom classes. I'm so excited. Woo!